Okay guys, so this week we're continuing to talk about word problems and we reviewed a little bit about what we need to do in order to solve these word problems. We know that we need to read them carefully and underline little bits and pieces of information that might help us. We also wanna look for key phrases that we might be able to see that will help us see if we need to add or subtract. In an addition sentence, you know that you can find different key phrases such as in all, or all together, and you know that you want to add these groups or bring them together to find the sum or the answer. In a subtraction sentence, you can also look for key phrases such as how many are left over or how many more, right? If we're comparing like how many more apples do I have than oranges, how many more we want to, we're comparing. That also means that we're going to need to subtract. So in your little book this week that you got, Remember, you don't have to scan these pages if you want to just keep this um, information recorded down in a special notebook or different pieces of paper. You can certainly do that. And as you're reading, try to draw the picture and try to use other strategies such as using our number line and our 10 frame. All right. So I'm going to read a little problem for you now. You're going to see little um, bits and pieces of information that I underlined and that's going to help us solve. OK, I'm going to read it through twice slowly and then you guys are going to try to help me solve this. There are eight t-shirts, three are green, and the rest are white. How many t-shirts are white? I'm gonna read this information again slowly. There are eight t-shirts, three are green, and the rest are white. How many t-shirts are white? All right, so before we get overwhelmed with all this information, we're gonna pause and we're gonna underline just like Mrs. Cloud did, we're gonna look at this information. And you could do that in your word problems. Don't get, don't get overwhelmed, just highlight bits and pieces of information and that's gonna help you break it down, all right? So look what I underlined here. I underlined eight and I could even underline t-shirts because we're talking about t-shirts, okay? You wanna make sure that information that you're underlining, that's what you're gonna need to draw out. So we're gonna have eight t-shirts, right? We started out with that. We know that there are three t-shirts that are green but we also know that some are white. We don't know how many are white. It just says the rest are white. So we don't know that number yet. Well, that's what we're gonna solve. But we do know that we have eight t-shirts in all and that three of them are green, all right? So, and that's what we're gonna try to solve. So I'm gonna first show you by making a little number line and then I have a 10 frame drawn and we're gonna try to write out um, this equation first, we're gonna decide, is it a addition sentence? Is it an addition or is it a subtraction sentence? If you know, um, if it's an addition sentence, you're gonna to need to add or use the plus sign. If you think it's a subtraction sentence, you'll know to take away and use the minus sign. So let's think about this, okay? Here's my 10 frame, here's my number line. Let's think of the um, problem first though. We know that there are eight t-shirts total, okay? So we know that. I'm going to make the number eight here because I know that we have a total of eight. We also know that three, boys and girls, three of those t-shirts are green. So I'm going to put the number three here. We don't know how many are white. Remember, that's what we're going to solve. So let's see. Let's um, think about this. Are we going to use the addition or the plus sign? Are we putting these t-shirts all together? Or do you think we would use the minus sign? Do you think there's a missing piece that we need to find out? Are we kind of knowing that we have a total already and we have a part of that total? Or do you think that we need to maybe add these two parts together? Hmm. If you read back with me, write that information. We said that we had eight total and three of those t-shirts are green, but we don't know how many are white. So we're missing that part. And when we're doing that, when we're seeing that key phrase, how many are white, that means we're going to try to compare. We know this many are green, but how many are white? We're going to use the minus sign, okay, when you compare. So here's eight. So now I'm going to make eight counters in this 10 frame. And when I show you this, remember, we have to work from left to right, just like we read left to right. And we also, once we're done in this box, then we have to go back down here to record until we get to eight. So let's do that. Let's count. That number again is eight. So now I'm gonna make eight counters, right? So I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make that counter a little bigger. So that's the eight t-shirts I represented, right? But how many were green? How many? 
three were green. So that's the part that I need to take away because I already know that three of those t-shirts are green. So I'm gonna grab my green marker and I'm gonna X out three of those counters, okay? So I have one, two, three of those counters I took away because I already know that part. I already know that part of those shirts are green. So I took them away. I don't know how many are white. That's what I need to solve for, the difference. Let's, before I tell you the answer, you might already know, but let's go to our number line now, okay? So we start with eight. We know that that's the total number of t-shirts that we have, and we're gonna take away three, all right? We're taking away three because we know eight is the whole number that we start with. Three is just part of that number that we know we have, right? We don't know the other part. So we're saying how many are white? We need to subtract. So that means on my number line, I'm gonna count back. I'm not going forward. I'm not adding these two numbers together. I'm taking away three to find out that missing part. All right, so I underline eight. Now I'm gonna hop three hops. One, two, three. Remember each hop, you have to hit a number. So don't just make random hops. You wanna make one hop, goes to that number, two hops and three hops. And now I'm gonna circle the answer. Do you see that difference? What's the answer? Five. Very good. Now I can double check on my 10 frame. I could actually see now I drew eight. I started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I took away because we're subtracting. I, I'm taking away three. So if I took away three, how many are left over? How many of those t-shirts are white? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And we know that in fact, because we solved that word problem using different strategies, we solved it by using a number line and a 10 frame, we know for sure that five is our answer. Five is our difference. You could also draw a picture, remember too, but don't get too hung up on drawing the t-shirts. If you have a hard time, just draw some lines or just draw some circles to represent that information, all right? Keep reading through these problems. Keep looking for those keywords, especially in a subtraction sentence, words such as and phrases such as how many more or how many are left, okay? You're, you're gonna know that you're gonna have to subtract. All right, guys. Have fun and take your time.